Dr. Fortune, uh, with Phil, please. Crazy. Phil. Uh, it's just meant I was crazy enough to stay in grad school another four years, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, I was wondering if you... Phil, please. I just... <laughs> just chill. Bill, you got me on this last year. Okay. okay. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Uh, Bill. Sir, Thank if, you. If you would break it down for us, if you can, sir, if it's acceptable to you. The stages of an EMP as it breaks into the millions to the down to the tenths to the second as it impacts our system. Because there are people showing that the EMP comes out and all the lights go out, or they show a city where a section goes out here, a section goes out there, it's Carrington event, the lines fry. But in your expertise, sir, can you bring it to us on how that EMP is going to shut down the grid? In those those seconds down to the millionth of a second. Okay. Thank you, um, sir. Thank you. Bluntly, I do not have the technical expertise to give you a precision breakdown because when an EMP is generated by the detonation of a relatively low yield nuclear weapon approximately 250 miles in space, it does travel at about the speed of light. The gamma ray burst off the bomb starts cutting loose electrons in the upper atmosphere, when the atmosphere is quite thin, setting up something of a chain reaction that builds up to a static discharge. There's actually three or four different frequencies of that discharge as it hits. Now, when it comes to an EMP, that is essentially going to happen within that first second. You're going to have two or three pulses of different frequencies hitting. When you see the videos where they're showing an EMP hits and one part of a grid goes and another part, not necessarily so. Though one could see that the northern part of the United States might, for example, be hit by an EMP that creates maybe a cascading of effect further south as power grids overload and go down. What happens? It just feeds into every wire out there Every wire becomes an antenna to this overload. It overloads the grid and pops it off. The thing that a lot of people talk about and how to try and stop this are the circuit breaking systems, which supposedly will react quick enough to save you from a thunderstorm, a like you know, a lightning bolt. But how many of you would bet on that and you lost your new high def TV anyhow? Uh, an EMP pulse travels quicker. Now, a CME functions on a very different level, and that cascading effect will be several different frequencies over a period of a couple of days up to a week. Best described to me by one person as, imagine it as if it's a bell that rings and continues to vibrate. CME feeds, it hits the magnetosphere of the United States, easy way, I mean, of the world. Easy way to describe it would be as if that's the Earth, and picture it as a balloon when the magnetosphere hits, I mean, excuse me, when the CME hits, it pushes that magnetosphere back. If it pushes it back far enough that it leaves the surface of the Earth open to the overload, you have what's known as a Carrington level event. Carrington level event is named after a solar astronomer, uh, Richard Carrington who first observed and correlated an explosion on the sun when electrical disturbance on the earth, 1859, that blew out part of the Victorian internet. Telegraphy systems were going down across northern Europe and the United States. The actual technical, is there anybody here in this room who could give us the actual different frequencies and technical? If so, put your hand up. Well, maybe one of the folks out in the room where they're selling everything. I remember there was somebody here last year who could really give you the full breakdown on frequencies. Bottom line for us, EMP, we're going to go in that first second. Oh my gosh, what happened? CME, there would be some warning because it's traveling slower than the speed of light. Government's going to mess it all up anyhow. And then we would see a cascading series of breakdowns. The further north you are, closer to the magnetic pole, the higher the probability a CME is going to impact. Did that answer it a little bit? Okay, I hope, hope I answered it a little bit. Next. 